Okay. <clears throat> I saw the lake of fire. Oh my gosh. I was um, standing on this platform with the lady. It looked like she had a book, like a tablet, and she was holding it like this. Um, there was a lady, and she was taller than I was. And she was shaking on the inside, but she wasn't like shaking real hard, but you can see just a little bit. She was just shaking from the inside. And so what happened, the person went before her that was thrown in the lake. It, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like she was standing there trying to, she wanted to confess again. I, this might be in the point where they were already judged. I don't know. But she asked, she said, how long do I have to wait here? And she said, because I, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I mean, before she gets thrown in. And so I'm thinking all this opportunity that she had to explain. And in my mind, I'm thinking, explain. But she couldn't say nothing. It's like she knew why she was there. And she knew that she was going to be thrown in a lake of fire. So this person came. And... And I'm looking at her like, okay, at least give her the opportunity to say something. So I guess she was already judged. This, um, this is, it appeared to be a male. He threw, he pushed her. She was standing there. He just pushed her. And, I, and, and my mind was like, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? The way she fell was like that way. Like she was pushed. She said, ah. And um, she went down. Let me show you something. I can't. I, I'm going to have to take my jacket off. Just make it, 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 just make it. She went down like this, like, ah. But when she got like halfway down, she just put her hand, she's like a fetal position like this. Um, let's see. She, she went, it was like her knees was up and she went straight down. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what the lake, what I saw. And you know how a lot of people have hell experience? And they see fire, and then they see like a, a pool of lava. Let me. This valley, it looked like it, you could see all oh, darkness, darkness, darkness. But it was glowing from the um, the lake of fire. Let me tell you what it looked like. It was it was lava, but it was mixed with fire, like a stream. It's just like um, you ever see one of those. Uh, what do you call those like the uh, the water is supposed to like cool your sound the water and it's like little lumps like here's a hill and then here's another hill and it was streaming down like this another one streaming down and she was hitting I'm thinking if she hit the side of the thing maybe she could hold but as soon as you touch it you will burn but it was smooth so it was like stream of fire and lava mixed together but it wasn't messy it was just like streams and I seen like a porta holes and she went into this portal hole and then um okay this is when i woke up i was thinking why does it have portal holes because hell was cast into the lake of fire but you couldn't see hell it was underneath and i'm thinking the portal holes was part of hell and maybe like she appeared to be a type like she was um sluttish like adulterous so maybe she went into this hole for that particular thing because there was another hole that she skipped it was almost like that that game uh price is right called plinko and you stand at the top and you push it in and it goes do do and it bounce whatever hole it goes into well the other person was pushed in after her you you couldn't see this person anymore it was a guy you couldn't see him and it was like she was all by herself. So I'm thinking, when you are in the lake of fire, when you when you when the people get cast into the lake of fire, they will seem alone. You're not going to look for anybody. You don't have time to look for anybody. You're in pain. So maybe I was seeing what this person was feeling, that you get tossed in there like you're all by yourself in this big old place. But it was millions of people because that guy it wasn't like they were floating on the top of lava like they have and like you look at some of these videos and i'm not saying it's not a place like that in hell where they said it was lava and it was you could see a lot of people uh, swimming and screaming but there was nobody at the top it was just like it was a flow uh, of mountains it, was, it looks like a big um hills hills of just you know and, and it was nothing i could do it was like 
I'm like, what? You know, and I'm like, you can't jump out the catcher because the way it was, it goes down like this is smooth. You you fall over, but when she fell, I mean, when she, the way she got pushed, she would she went like this, like she was flying like this, and then she went into you know, I had to demonstrate where her knees. Um, but anyway, um, every person, everybody that's in the lake of fire probably won't see anybody. They go into these little porta holes, and it's covered. It's like empty at the top, but you can see the darkness around here and it's like big mountains and like um, hills, like I said. And um, I was trying to find an object where I can see, but um, it's like, just say this is huge. And then there's another huge like this. And so the way it was flowing, I'm sorry, it was going down and then it went on this one, this one, and then it, it was a flat, but it was surrounded by hills. And it was like streams of fire. It, it was like, she was hopeless. And when she hollered, and then she went down to that pit and then I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, people don't realize hell is worse enough. Hell is a place of torment. And uh, right now the demons are tormenting people, but they're going to be in there too. And because I couldn't see hell, like I said, it was covered with the lake of fire. And don't think it's just a lake of just lava like what you see on uh, uh, Terminator or whatever uh, when he mailed it. It was that mixed with fire, but it was like a, a perfect uh, combination. So it was smooth, but you could see the fire, but you could see it, it was just like you were sliding down, um, uh, what do you call that, um, when people go skiing, and it was holes, and she bounced, and she went straight, and I was like, oh my gosh, she hit the edge, and I was like, what can I do? And I felt hopeless. I felt like I couldn't breathe because, and then I'm feeling the heat. This is eternity. So the bottomless pit, is it connected to the bottomless pit, these portholes? But she skipped the first porthole. She went to the next one. And the other guy that I seen, uh, you know, everybody. And so, you know, in my revelation, I'm thinking that when you get judged by God, each individual is um, even though God, I know the Bible says that there'll be gulps on the, uh, the left and and the you know righteous on the right, but they're going to be judged like that. But they're going to be tossed uh, or thrown into the lake of fire. And I'm just telling you, this is what I saw. Horrible, horrible. Because underneath that lake is hell going down. And all the stuff in hell, the stench and all these things, all these people are going to be in there. It was, it was so huge. It looked like it was in another planet, on another planet. I, I, I can't even explain what I, I'm looking at her and I'm staring at her and I'm feeling her. And it was like, she had a lot to say, but she couldn't say it because it's like she knew why she was there. And it's like she wanted another chance. She said, "She said, but wait." And I'm like, "What are you doing?" You know, in my mind. And the other lady was like, and then, and then she went to the feet. She said, "Ah!" Oh, and she, I said, "She about to hit that that other side of that mountain." And she touched that. She can't hold on to it because it was just like a flow. And she went down, and that was it. You know, it, it, it's really hard to explain if you don't have you know a lot of people are visual but what I saw was so horrible and if you know that hell is like the way people say torment and all these things and these uh, demons all was up under that and the, the thing is it, look I, I've been burnt before <laughs> like I, when I was young I had a straw and I took a fire and I melted it and the, the, it dripped on my arm and that that it could not get off of me and I was like hollering and um and see and stuff like that will cause you ugh. and then like connected to that I dreamed about this man he was of holiness and he was teaching he had a wife and I he had a child he was teaching he said now I teach my child to reach out to all like God made man in this world you, you know, like, uh, you heard about the lions, the lion and the lamp laying together. Well, he was trying to teach, to tell his wife and, and show his child that you can do this. But um, there was, and you know, just like uh, Joseph had a dream about stars bowing down. 
or Daniel dreamed about a cow that was skinny, it meant something. So I'm going to tell you what it meant. So this little baby, he said, I teach my kid to reach out that everything that's dangerous, you know, since God put on the earth, that it was okay. So this baby, he, he let his, placed his baby, it was this big alligator, and he placed his baby right in the alligator's teeth. And the baby was ah, <laughs> playing, laughing, and everything like that. And the alligator was just moving around like he was swinging it. But I was looking at the alligator and the way he looked. Like, they don't have facial expression, but his eyes were saying, I'm like, how can this beast have compassion for a human when he's not human? Because the way he was looking. And he just, the baby was inside of teeth and just laughing real hard. <laughs> and just like he was playing. And then the mother just standing there looking and the father's looking like, see, we can get along. And I'm like, okay, anytime now you can take that baby out of that. You know, all of a sudden, that uh, alligator's teeth went down and the baby said, huh, 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 like, I can't believe that he's doing this to me. And then he kept swinging the baby like he was doing it and, and he was clamping down and then the baby began to cry, like scream. And the mother came over there and she tried to, um, um, like come between the baby and try to open the mouth, he grabbed her too. And I'm standing there and I'm like, oh my God, I can't watch this. So I went over there and I tried to put my foot on the, um, the side of the teeth of it. I wasn't a fool of it. And I, and I was like, I can't lift it up because his teeth was on the other side. And I was like, oh my God, you know what the man does? He was doing all that preaching. He went over there and ran. He didn't even try to help. He getting on the phone calling. So I don't know if he was calling 911. I was like, coward, coward. So this is how I took it. Um, when you play in sin, like I know several people who might have been a minister type of thing but anyway before they came into to god and now i wasn't born when he was born but my dad told me he used to smoke you know when he was young when they were young so he, he was a smoker and i think he was a drinker whatever but anyway he came to the lord for many years him and his wife but then he backslid and he went back to the bondage that he was delivered from and when you do that you put a strong hold so you're playing in sin and see, just like, you know, the devil, he wants, um, he wants to kill now. Any opportunity to sin, if he get the opportunity, he will take you out. So this man tried so hard to get back into, he loved, like, the, the, the church and the shouting and things, and he tried to bring his Bible to church, he just couldn't fit. And it was like, he needed to be delivered because he had seven more strong demons that, you know, he, he was easily delivered, maybe, in the beginning but when he went back to the bondage it gets worse and so he had a stronghold he tried so hard to get back and he would watch these videos of uh, the church thing he couldn't get back and to this day he's he's way older than me he's like probably in his 70s 80s 70s he's still trying to get and i'm like why don't you just admit it and just tell somebody that you need to total deliverance because he's on his way you can't play in sin and you can't trust people. That's why when God saves you, you have to separate yourself. When you waddle around people who are in sin and you just playing like a little baby, all of a sudden they'll catch you. And you you cannot keep company with the ungodly. You can you can have family members, you can love them, you can pray for them. I'm not talking about family gatherings and things like that. And then the opportunity to talk to them about the Lord. But you can't hang with them. This baby was having fun. So just let me know that when the person who is uh, spiritual go back out in the world, they have fun with these ungodly people. You are in danger. And the devil's just waiting. And, he, uh, you know, just like that alligator, he was sitting, he was swinging like, I got you, I got you. Bam! And just like I was telling about my other video that I was talking about the cobra. When it, when, it, when it catches its prey, it, 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 it locks on you and then it sways, you know, just like um, if you were in boxing, you know, uh, you know how the, the boxers, they do to see if you're going to flinch or whatever. With the swaying, it, it keeps its eyes on you to see your every move, see if you move, like which direction. Then it stops and when it locks its eye on you, you done. You can't play in sin. You can't play in sin. But anyway. I just want to share that people people don't realize how bad it is 
when you have people give, I've seen videos of people give thumbs down when people tell the truth about what it is. If you don't understand it, you know, they thumbs it down because they don't understand. In their mind, they figure it's supposed to be a certain way or no, it's not a hell and things like that. And and you try your best to warn people, but you can't, they, they will soon find out. They thumbs it down when they don't understand. And then sometimes when you try to tell the truth in the way it really supposed to be, and you're so used to being heard one way, then you say, oh, this person don't understand, you know, what are they talking about? Because you're in that that religion thing where Jesus was saying that there are people who have ears to hear and can't hear, can't understand. They have eyes but can't see in the spiritual. It don't matter if you're ungodly or godly. He was talking about the godly. Well, he was talking about all of them. But he was in the midst of the people who were keeping the commandments. They didn't understand because he was talking about those people because they were there to hear the word of God and they were in the synagogues. Anyway, I just want to... Uh, warn people there is a hell you may not understand it if you don't understand it and you say and why, well people gonna do what they want to do you know we up here to tell the truth so uh, somebody just got to do it and that's I wanted to share that because that's what it is so it's, it's more terrible than you think it is it ain't just a pool of the Bible says um, death and hell will be cast in the lake of fire. I could not see hell on top because hell was covered. It was down there and they have holes and that person went in a certain pit hole and went down and you could not see anybody at the top because everybody was down in hell on top of it. You know what I'm saying? It's worse. Please give your life to God. If you don't understand, run. There's a lot of people, and see, when you when you will see these different videos and they talk about the Lord and things like that, then ask God, because these are, are ways to get you to righteousness. And even though it may, uh, YouTube and all these things may be set up for evil, God set it, some things up for good. This is how you can hear the word of God from people all over the world. Near-death experiences and things like that, that, that helps. And I never seen the lake of fire in what I saw. Um, you know, all what I seen on there was just lake, just just a big uh, lava. This lake of fire was lava mixed with fire, but it was smooth, like a like a like creamy, but streams of it. It was just I wish I oh terrible, huge, like you're on another planet. You're alone when you go down there. You're burning. You feel like you're by yourself. You won't see all your little friends and all those people, people being their own little thing, burning, screaming forever. All right.